Hi guys, this is Joey Rasul here again with another review from Hot Rod Cameras. Enter the Blackmagic Designs Video Assist 4K. At NAB 2015, Blackmagic Designs launched the original Video Assist, which was a great answer to the Atmos Ninja because it had the added ability of doing 1080-60p. The following year, they announced a 4K version to compete with the likes of the Shogun, the Odyssey 7Q, and the Pixie 7. Now, Blackmagic is becoming very well known for having a price way lower than what you'd expect based on the spec sheet, and this is no exception. But with all Blackmagic products, you do have to figure out exactly what it is missing to get down to that price point, and that's what I want to address here. I've been a longtime user of the Atmos Shogun, both as an external recorder and as a monitor, so with two years of innovation, I hope the video assist can really stand up to that. At first glance, it does look like you're getting less for your money. The Shogun and the Shogun Flame come with an entire Pelican case of accessories, whereas the Blackmagic Video Assist comes with this. All the accessories needed really start to stack up price-wise, but they don't start to stack up size-wise because the Video Assist uses smaller batteries and smaller media than any other recorder. Firmware-wise, it's definitely a Blackmagic product. Menus are simple, if maybe a little too simple. I'd love a little bit more control over my colors and my contrast on this monitor. We also don't have LUT support here. Seems like this is going to be great for other Blackmagic products, but they're not making it easy to use third-party cameras. Design-wise though, this feels great. The mini XLRs are awesome, the super solid quarter 20s on the top and the bottom are awesome. This little kickstand design so you can set it down on a table is fantastic. Having an external recorder in your kit is invaluable, especially if you work with different cameras all the time and you need some consistency in your workflow. If this is going to be the cheap way for people to get a 4K recorder, I say go for it. Compared to all the other recorders though, this one is definitely the easiest to carry around with you as an afterthought. Just have it in your bag and if you need a cross converter or a monitor or all of a sudden you actually do need to record something on this external recorder, you can use that and you can use LPE6 batteries which are pretty abundant and small media as well. The Video Assist does actually have some gains over the Shogun, including a slightly higher res monitor and the ability to record ProRes Proxy, which for people who are doing long record times, that's actually pretty useful. Based on its size, build quality, battery life, and quality of the screen, I think I would have this over the Atmos Shogun. But a new challenger has entered the ring. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for part two, where we take a look at the Video Assist 4K side by side with the Shogun Flame. You can check out both these items at Hot Rod Cameras.